Hi, this is Jim Colt, and I'm here with uh, in my home shop in North Carolina with a, a Maverick CNC machine right behind me. This is a five by five machine uh, with flash cut software, and it also has uh, a rotary axis, which is makes for a nice little machine. Now, now, how did I come to the right to the conclusion to get this machine? Um, well, there's a lot of things you do have to consider if it's your first CNC plasma cutting machine. Number one is the size of the machine is critical. And the best advice I can give you for that is uh, dep that depends on the size of your shop and what you're going to be cutting, but it's best to stick with a standard material size. So if, you've, if you're using 4x8 or 5x10 sheets of steel, uh, you want a 4x8 or a 5x10 machine. In this case, I've got a 5x5 five five machine, and that's because I don't have a lot of space. I share this building with my wife's horses. So there's horse stalls at one end of the building and my little metal fabricating shop at the other end. So you have to compromise a little bit. Other things with, with a machine is the type of fume control, and that's very critical, and it's absolutely ne necessary to have fume control. And there are two, two thoughts uh, there that go, and one is uh, water table. Water tr table basically takes the hot molten metal uh, fumes from plasma cutting, and they cool, it cools them down, and they sink down into the water table on the bottom. Um, there's drawbacks sometimes with these fume control systems. Uh, you're going to get water is going to splash around, so you've got to wipe the machine down at the end of the day and things like that. Um, the second type of fume control is downdraft table, which is what I have here. So I'm basically using an outside blower that's not very loud, uh, and it pulls the smoke fumes and, and uh, fumes, uh, particles of molten metal outside and blows them away uh, where they cool down and kind of sink to the ground. So they both work right. They're both necessary. You've got to choose the one that you want. Um, water table typically is a, um, a little bit less expensive to operate, but a little bit harder to, to keep the machine clean and to clean out the slag out of the cutting table after you're done. Or a downdraft table requires a blower and some duct work and things like that, so you're going to spend a little more money on it. Anyway, we, we can always help you with that kind of advice. And the other thing that's very important with choosing a new machine is software. Uh, uh, there's all different levels of software. Some are easy to use. Some are uh, a little bit harder to use, depending on uh, probably your age. I, when I was in high school, they didn't have computers, so I, I'm not a computer. I'm not. I don't have strengths with computers. So my my choice on software was something that was easy to, relatively easy to learn for a 65 year old guy. So uh, we, you have to think about those things as well. Um, so a lot of a lot of things uh, with the. Choosing the table, and the uh, last but not least, is the plasma system itself. Um, this one has a PowerMax 65 on it. I can pierce through uh, three quarter, I'm sorry, five eighths inch thick material, and cut that all day long if I want. If I need to edge start and cut a piece of one inch uh, every once in a while for to repair my tractor or something like that, you certainly can do that. Uh, so uh, keep keep those things in mind. There's a lot of things to consider. Don't just buy the cheapest table you can find. Uh, you're going to amortize the, the value of this machine over a lot of years if it's in your home shop. And uh, what, what you pay for it today really doesn't matter five years down the road. So think about that.